These poets are writing to me again. Look, there's. I want to ask you something. What? Do uh, you know the weatherman? It's, uh, we're talking about Barra Best yes. and Angie. Yeah. Right. Well, Angie's not a man. Uh, but you understand, the weather person. <laughs> uh huh. What do they do? What do they do? What do they do all day long? They the monitor the weather. But do they come into the office and take off their coat and stand and look out the window? No, they don't. What, how do they get they the weather? They are geared into the meteorological office and they are they are constantly updated. Don't you think that they do? A, so they just a make phone job? calls. They don't make phone calls. What they do they monitor do? the weather. Hmm. They monitor the weather. Yeah, but they just have access to all the fronts and yes. the cold fronts and the warm fronts, and they have access to the winds and the rains. They, you know, and and they make a judgment. All right. Because these are weather people. Yes. They're, weather, they're not just presenters. It's not like Frank Mitchell. I know that Frank Frank just stands there and reads whatever up. he's told. That's right. You see, Frank. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you the weather in 25 minutes. Why don't you tell us now? Okay. Why do they say, I'll tell you the weather in 25 minutes? Uh, I, I'll be Why live. Why does he just say, I'll tell you the weather now? I'll be live with the weather in 25 minutes. I'll be live minutes. with the weather in 25 minutes. As if you're going to wait for him. Mm -hmm. You know? That's yes, right. <laughs> these poets are writing to me. What? Why is Patrick Kavanaugh? No, is Patrick Kavanaugh not dead? He died in 1967. He's writing to me. <laughs> uh, maybe the hit. Maybe you can't trust the post office. I swear. Jordy's on too. That sounds like a threat. Uh, Jordy, hello. Hello, sir. I'm um, hello. How are you today? I'm not too bad. I believe you have some good reason to talk to me today. I don't uh, know. What do it you is. want uh, a couple of pheasants for Christmas? Pheasants? Ah, um, a cock and a hen. I don't. Think so, you know, because it would mean you slaughtering them. No, no, well, they're dead and ready. <laughs> dead and ready? Already? Ah, well, you have to hang them, you know. No, but why do you just kind of cut their throats like normal no, people? No, 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 you know, they have to be hung. Oh, you mean they're hung after they're dead? Ah. That sounds to me very unappetizing, I have to be honest with you. No, I, no, Jordy, no, thank you. Uh, thank you for the offer, but I think I'll pass and on the pheasant. Before I go. Yes. Whitey. Pardon? Whitey. I call him Whitey. Whitey, yes. You, yeah. He's a wee young buck goat. All a jingle jangles all on him. Yes. And anyone is looking a nanny goat served. Send them here. Right. Right. Whitey. Whitey. I'll have a cigarette after, will you? Well, no, he's parsed, you know, to the mm -hmm. double the critter. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to bring you back. Uh, I, I just want to bring you back for a moment. Uh, you said that Whitey has all his jingle jangles. Yes. What does that mean? It's too, you know. Stop. Okay, then. In other words, what you're saying is it's perfectly capable of yes, covering... Yes, yes, yes. Right. Now, I know there's a charge for this. Is he, is he knocking them out in ones or knocking them out in twos? Twos. Okay, he knock them out in twos. See, there's a big nanny come. Yes. Now, what uh, is the charge for this? I, I mean, if, I, I, if no, hold on a second. Let's um, a hypothetical situation. I am the owner of a nanny goat. The nanny goat requires covered. I, 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 had, to I had to lift Whitey up on a bale of straw, for the nanny goat was too big. Right. I think I had a situation like that once in you? America yeah. in 1984. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, no, okay, no, 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 no. Wide, I left it wee whitey up. So somebody, somebody has to put him up to it? I left him up and, and put right. him in a bit that's, of cell. That's okay, that's oh, okay. Now, I've got a nanny goat, right? Yeah. And I've got a big nanny goat. Ah, a big nanny goat. And I say to myself, I need a billy goat that can be lifted up to this ah, one. We so, I, so I go to you, ah. and, and you get a bale of straw, ah. and you put Whitey we up on it. Whitey up. And it's every man for himself. Oh, he done his job. And oh, much, what he did, how's your fire? Is ah. your mother still working? Ah. Now, how much How much will you charge for... I charge to her eight pounds. Eight pound a go. Ah. Oh, that seems a, bar a bargain to me. Well, All right, then, so there you are. Anyone out there who needs a, a goat served... Uh, uh, eight pound a eight pound a rattle, ah, I think, perhaps is the for expression. For wee whitey. For wee whitey. Ah. And you'll put them up to it. Ah. Okay, excellent. We'll see. Do you want them pheasants? Uh, no, no, Jordy. I, I don't. Thank you very much indeed, because I, I, I'm not terribly fond of game. It's too rich for me. Oh. <laughs> I prefer the traditional chicken or turkey. Oh. At least you know where they've been. 
All right, Jordy, thank you for that. Thank you, and may the Lord be good to you, my friend. Thank you. Maybe perhaps Mr. Coyle will be interested in a pheasant or two. We shall talk after the programme. Ah, he thank wants you. them. Very uh, much. He wants okay. them. Charge him plenty. Hey, Tell him. I will, I will, I will. Tell Whitey I was asking for him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>